Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new interesting square root algebra math problem. Let us solve square root of x times x times x is equal to whole square root of x plus x plus x. Now how can we solve this beautiful square root math problem? Here first of all we get to the left hand side here this x is multiplied three times. So we can write this as x cube is equal to and here this is added three times. Therefore we can write this as square root of this will become 3x. Here we will take square on both sides to eliminate square root from both sides. So here this square and this square root will be cancelled and this square and this square root will be cancelled. So this will become x cube is equal to 3x. And here we will take this to the left hand side. So this will become x cube minus 3x is equal to 0. Now there is x common in the left hand side so we will take out x common so this will become x square minus 3 is equal to 0. We have the product of these two expression is 0 so here either x will be 0 or this expression will be 0. So from here we will get x is equal to 0 or x square minus 3 is equal to 0. So here x is equal to 0, this is our first real solution. Now we will solve this one equation. So here we can write this 3 as, this is x square minus 3 can be written as square root of 3 whole square is equal to 0. And this is x square and this is square root of x square. So this is an algebraic identity, a square minus b square. So here in this TV we will apply this one algebraic identity a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So using this identity here this will become this imply this will become x minus square root of 3 times x plus square root of 3 is equal to 0. Again here the product of these two expression is 0 so here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0 so from here we will get x minus square root of 3 will be 0 or x plus square root of 3 will be 0. Here we will take this to the right hand side this negative 3 this will become positive square root of 3 and we will move this to the right hand side this will become negative square root of 3. So here x is equal to positive square root of 3, this is our second solution, x is equal to negative square root of 3, this is our third solution. So finally we have three real solutions in this problem. So these solutions are x is equal to 0, x is equal to positive square root of 3 and x is equal to negative square root of 3. Now we will try to verify these solutions that x is equal to these three values are the exact and correct value of x in this interesting algebra square root problem or not. So we will verify these values one by one here. So first of all we will try to verify x is equal to 0. To verify x is equal to 0 here we will rewrite our problem again. Now our problem is square root of x times x times x is equal to square root of x plus x plus x. So let's substitute x is equal to 0. So this will become 0 times 0 times 0 which is simply 0 and this will become here this will become 0 adding 0 3 times it will be also 0. Now, as we know that square root of 0 is 0 so both sides will become equal. Now both sides are equal so it means that x is equal to 0 is the exact and correct value of this interesting square root math problem. Then we will try to verify positive square root of 3 and negative square root of 3. So we will verify these values here. Now secondly we will try to verify x is equal to positive square root of 3. Now let's replace x with this value here. So this will become square root of this is this will become square root of 3 times square root of 3 times square root of 3 is equal to now let us add this one number 3 times so this will become square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3. Now here next we can write these two number a square root of 3 times square root of 3 is whole square root of this can be written as square root of 3 whole square this is because this is multiplied two times times square root of 3 is equal to 
and here the same number is added three times so therefore we can write this as three times this one number square root of three and here this square and this square root will be cancelled so this will become whole square root of three times square root of three is equal to and this will be the same three times square root of three by taking square on both sides the square root will be cancelled from both sides so this gives same 3 times square root of 3 is equal to 3 times square root of 3 now here since both sides are equal again so it means that x is equal to father 2 square root of 3 is also the exact and correct value of x in this beautiful algebra square root math problem here we will try to verify the third one solution that is x is equal to negative square root of 3 so let's verify x is equal to negative square root of 3 so our equation will become whole square root of this is negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is equal to and here we will add this number 3 times this will become whole square root of negative square root of 3 plus negative square root of 3 plus negative square root of 3 so again here we can write this one number as whole square root of this will become negative square root of 3 whole square times negative square root of 3 is equal to and here we will take out this negative square root of 3 common so taking negative square root of 3 common here there will be 1 1 left in all the places so here this square and this negative sign will be cancelled and square and square will be cancelled so this will become whole square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is equal to and this will become negative square root of 3 times this will become 3 now let us rearranging the numbers this will become 3 times square root of 3 sorry this is there is negative signs this will become negative 3 times square root of 3 is equal to and this will also become negative 3 times square root of 3 now again by taking square on both sides the square root will be cancelled from both sides so this will become negative square root negative 3 times square root of 3 is equal to negative 3 times square root of 3 now from both sides we can cancel the negative 3 with each other so this will become square root of 3 is equal to square root of 3 again look at to both sides both sides are same equal so it means that x is equal to negative 3 is also the exact and correct value and correct solution so finally all of these three values of x are the exact and correct solution of this interesting algebra square root math problem in last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting math videos thanks for watching